We all know an element called carbon. Carbon atoms can be arranged in different geometries. They can form beautiful diamond, hard as rock in nature, or graphite that is used in pencils. One of the lesser known forms of carbon is a structure called fullerene. Carbons in fullerene molecules are usually arranged in pentagons and hexagons, and they can form hollow spheres, tubes, or ellipsoids. I work with a fullerene molecule called C60. C60 is a spherical carbon cage that consists of 60 carbons and resembles a football, only it is 100 million times smaller. In my PhD project, I chemically open C60, insert a single atom or molecule inside, and close it. Why do I do this? Not long ago, it was discovered that atoms and molecules placed inside C60 have spectacular physical and chemical properties. Because they are inside the cage, they are protected from reacting with their environment, but we can still use and study their features. This could find direct application in cancer diagnosis. Helium gas gives a really strong signal in magnetic resonance imaging, also known as MRI scanning. Patients inhale the helium, and after MRI scan, all the abnormalities in the lungs are detected. However, we cannot use this method to detect cancer anywhere else in the body because we cannot inject helium gas into bloodstream. On the other hand, it is safe to inject helium atoms enclosed inside C60, dissolve them in solution. We can then attach them to cancer-seeking molecules that can latch themselves onto cancer cells. And patients would then be scanned from head to toe, and the MRI scan will reveal even the smallest signs of cancer. So far in my PhD project, I found a novel, efficient way of making helium inside C60, but also other atoms and molecules, such as hydrogen or neon. Use of these molecules is not limited to medicine. They can be used in superconducting materials, nanotechnology, or quantum computers. Currently, I'm working on putting inside even bigger molecules, such as oxygen, carbon dioxide, or krypton. And this could open a new exciting door to medicine, chemistry, and technology. Thank you for your attention.